the story is pretty wild of just finding out about Tech P. Uh, I had enlisted for the 2W0X1 career field, which is a munition systems apprentice, so an ammo guy, bomb loader. Okay. Um, and I was going to F-15 Strike Eagles, which, you know, kind of sounds cool, but at the time... I was super kind of not satisfied with that. I I had that in my head at 17 years old because I, I had gone to basic at, at 17. My dad had gotten orders to Naples, Italy, and your options in Naples were very slim if you were above 18. Like you're not allowed to really have a job in the country as a military dependent. And oh, right. so like my only option was online college. And I was just like, that sounds awful. So <laughs> right. even though like, looking back, it's like, wait, you turned down like four years of living in Italy, like to, <laughs> right. go, to go join the military and go to war. Well, yeah, I guess I did. Um, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, hindsight being what it is, you know, come on. Yeah. You know what? I think I made the right choice. Sure. So I, um, I actually like was kind of upset because I was very into, you know, the movie Navy SEALs. Uh, I was into Rambo and all that stuff. And I was like, you know, combat, 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 what we thought combat was, you know, when you first going in, like right. you wanted, you obviously wanted to do something that was, that was front lines, front line. I, you know, I kept saying that, like, I was really, I just was really disappointed in the, in the career choice. once I got to basic, because once I got around everybody and like, there were guys that are like, oh, I'm going to be a crew chief and crew chiefs are the best thing in the air force. Like they have this, this weird thing is like, we're the, we're the best job in the air force. And it's like, okay, yeah, but that's still not that cool. You're, you're turning a wrench on a plane. Like that's, it's kind of rad, but not as cool as it can be. Yeah. So it's I necessary. Had, uh, it's a necessary job. It's important, but <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not what you were looking for. No, but for us that like just have that violent and itch of wait a minute i can go i can go do violence no i want to do that <laughs> um right. and so at at first they said th they came in like first at the end of the first week once we got our uniforms we didn't have name tapes we just had uniforms mm -hmm. and they were like uh hey there's a seer briefing today seer is a career field that's in the air force that's not necessarily advertised uh by recruiters you can only get into that program through through basic training and stuff like that, who wants to go to it? And we're like, well, well, what's SEER? And they, and the, and the TI, you know, the regular air force is horrible at explaining any of these things. So they're just like, right. Oh, they, uh, they make sure pilots, you know, know how to survive and get back when they've been captured. So like, honestly, like the way that he put it, SEER almost sounded like search and rescue. Like, so yeah. you're like, wait, that sounds really fucking cool. So <laughs> I raise my hand and I have, I have these two guys that are, that are my, you know, bunk to my left, to my right. I'm kind of like, it's a pact. Like, Hey, if I go do anything, you guys are coming to like, we're going to go figure this out. <laughs> right, so we go into the seer briefing. We're standing in the back. There's, you know, a couple hundred people in there because it's always based on the week that you're in basic training. And, uh, and they start talking and then when, when they start, they get to the point of, Oh, Hey, we're non, we're, we're not really a deployable career field. We're just instructors. I like that switch went <laughs> off in my head where I was like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't want this. And they say in the beginning of it, Hey, if at any point you don't like this, you can leave. So I tapped the guys. I'm like, Hey, let's go. They said that they're not deploying. Like I want to deploy. So let, let's roll. And so they're like, okay, cool. So they go with me. We're searching for our flight around around the the training squadron, and we're told, "Oh, they're in this classroom." We get into the classroom; they're all sitting down. There's a chalkboard up front, and uh, we're like, "What's going on?" They like they said, "This is the TAC P brief." And we're like, "Oh, what's that?" And everybody's like, "I have no idea." So we're just sitting in there for probably like five minutes. Like we had showed the three of us showed up late because we yeah, were yeah. in the SEER briefing. Right. Right. And then all of a sudden this, this gigantic, you know, keg of a man walks <laughs> in. It was, it was Hayes. Okay. Um, and he is wearing BDUs and he has the special forces arrowhead. And I, I look back at this and like, I, I, I get that it's like for show. But like yeah. when I start thinking about it, I'm like, well, that's wrong. Like, because he was wearing the dress blues arrowhead on his oh. <laughs> on his right shoulder so it was the blue and, oh, yeah. and, and gold it was a subdued. 
Yeah. yeah. And then he had, <laughs> he had all these schools on his chest, you know, that were all black army, uh, school badges. Right. Right. <clears throat> and he was wearing his beret. So he walked in wearing his beret, didn't take it off. Yeah. And he stands at this chalkboard and he's like, who, who here likes money? And like, everybody's kind of like looking around and one kid's like, well, I'd like money. And then everybody's like, oh, I guess I do. And he writes like $300 on the chalkboard. And then he's like, he looks around and he goes, who likes to skydive? And like two or three guys are like, oh, I like skydiving. And he writes 250 <laughs> on the board. He goes, who likes to scuba dive? And somebody's like, oh, I guess I do. And he writes the, the number on the board. And then he draws a line and he adds it all up and he circles it and he puts that number uh, up in the right corner of the chalkboard. He goes, that's how much extra I get paid to do my job. And everyone's kind of like, oh, go on. Yeah, and then he we're like, listening. He, he paints this scenario. It was an Iranian scenario, nonetheless, which is funny. Okay. Yeah, uh, we weren't we were not at war with Iraq at this point. We had only invaded Afghanistan and that was it. OK, so he's like, here I am sitting above an airfield. I'm looking at at a bunch of, at a at a Zeus 23 four. That's a Russian surface to air artillery piece. And we're like, oh, man. And he's like, he's like, and I got a guy smoking a cigarette right next to that thing. And I and I'm looking at him. And so I put my laser on him and I shoot him with the laser and I call an A-10 who's up overhead. And that A-10 fires a Maverick and that Maverick drives right onto that cigarette where I put my laser and, and destroys that dude and, and the thing. And then he's like, and I've got a whole battalion of army guys behind me as we just assault the airfield he's like that's my job and i went what the <laughs> fuck that's real yeah. uh so he's like who wants to 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 try out for this and i'm like i could not get my hand higher <laughs> like my hand was touching the roof and i'm grabbing both my buddies to my left and my right i'm raising their hands this, this, yeah this, this kid named scott perry and tyler woodson and we'll get to tyler woodson later Okay. So I'm like, we're going boys. Uh, <laughs> so he, we're the only ones from the flight though, that gave a shit. Like, really? Every, everybody. After that was, spiel, after that, yeah, I know. that presentation. Yeah, yeah. We're the only, like I said, that flight was full of a lot of people that were like, oh, crew chiefs are badass or security forces is cool. I'm going to be a dog handler and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, lame. Uh, <laughs> so, so he, we stay back. The rest of the flight leaves. This, this dude, Sergeant Hayes, writes me this appointment slip, hands it to me. He's like, all right, in four days, you're going to give this to your TI and you're going to meet me at, at this track. You can ask your TI where it is. You guys can march over there. That's, that's the day that you got to do the, the PT test to, for us to assess uh, if you, you're even able to go. So huh. I'm like, okay. So at that time, we were doing PT seven days a week in basic training you know, back when it was still important. Yeah. Um, so like he had given us the entry standards and you had to run the two mile in 1430 or less. Right. So the first day I, 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 I don't know if I had done a two mile to this point yet. So I didn't know my time. Sure. So the, at that time in basic training, the TIs would like do us in formation, like push ups and sit ups and all this bullshit. And then they would let us run the track. Like, Run the track for fucking 30 minutes, guys. Cool. So we go. I ask him to time me because I need to see. I run like a seven minute flat mile and like collapse because I was like sprinting. Like, oh, right, right. I just like, I gassed myself. And he was like, that was a good mile time, but you're fucking done. Like, like spent. <laughs> so, like, the next day, I tried it again, like, time it. I slowed it down a little bit. I think I got a a 15 minute or something like that. And then the third day I hit the 1435. So I knew like, okay, that day that I go and do this PT test, I, I know exactly where I need to push and I can shave off that five seconds and, and, and I'll be good to go. Sure, um, sure. So morning comes, we flash the thing. And the TI is also like super intimidated by tack piece too. So he was like, oh man, that tack piece stuff is crazy. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what, I don't remember what his background was, but he kept talking it up. So we're like, oh, fuck, 
this is awesome. We're going to be right. Jason Bourne. Let's go. So uh, I show up out there. There's about 100, 100 kids like uh, because they go to every flight that's in that week of basic training and get the volunteers. And like a lot of flights were showing up with like 10, 15 people a piece that, that wow. all wanted to try. Whereas like ours, it was just us three. So we do the PT test and throughout the entire PT test. And then Sergeant Busan was there. That's where I met okay. Sergeant Busan, Sergeant Hayes. Yeah. We're doing the PT test. I keep raising, like, like I am doing pushups. And as Sergeant Hayes is next to me, I'm like, Sergeant Hayes, Sergeant Hayes, do we could use MP5s? And he's like, shut the <laughs> fuck up, Taylor. Like, cause we have the gray, the gray sweat. Sure, sure. We had like tape <laughs> right. with our name on it. And, uh, and then anytime I could squeeze another question, Sergeant Hayes, could I, do we get to do this? And he's like, dude, just shut up, do your PT test. <laughs> and like, so we go to the run and on every lap, I'm asking a question. One of the questions <laughs> was, is do we get a laser on our gun? Like, and he's like, shut up, Taylor. <laughs> like, and, and, and we do the test. I, I get, I get below 1430. So I was nice. super excited. Um, they do, they did kind of like a smoke session for a little while. A bunch of dudes quit, like guys quit during the PT test. Like, like even at like push ups and sit ups, they were just like, ah, oh, yeah, this isn't for me. And then they'd get up and, and you'd be like, great, march back to your thing. And, uh, and then they do, yeah, they did like a smoke up after the PT test. Like, and again, you don't, you're not used to that then. Like, yeah. so they start like yelling and like bear crawl over here and, and then again, like, like, and they, and they're saying the whole time, this is barely even scratching the surface of what you're going to experience at, at the schoolhouse and blah, blah, blah. And so like, yeah, a bunch of dudes quit during the bear crawl and like, they just, they just gave us this mini shark. Um, and then we're all done. Like I had 40 questions and he had to tell me to leave. And, yeah, yeah. and so he was like, Hey, on the end of the fifth week of basic training on this day, when you get back from warrior week, if you if you, if we're, we're going to go back and look at all these numbers and we've got notes on everybody, we have three slots to tech school for, oh this, my for this, for this group. And, and how many, uh, how many total, like didn't quit? Like how many, how many, uh, were, I would to say go? there was probably like 60 that, that, that stayed around. Wow. It was a good amount. Yeah. There yeah. Was a decent amount of people there. And I think that's why they did this, this smoke session too was. Was they were Try to like, weed some more we out. Need to, we need to thin this. Well, they I, and they were trying to. You could tell that they were like analyzing because they would stand in different places and kind of like look at who, who enjoyed this, like, oh, right. and who was just like absolutely like over it. Yeah, yeah. So I keep the appointment slip, uh, which I still have, by the way. I I Gosh. can actually get I can get you a photo of it, um, <laughs> and I taped it to the bottom of my security drawer. And th when we get back from Warrior Week on the day that Sergeant Hayes said that we would find out, I untaped it, and that's the end of basic training pretty much. You just have parade practice, and then you're graduating. So the TI is very loose at that point. You just doesn't give a shit because you're done. Right. Um, so I walk in at, at 6.30 in the morning because we're about to go down for breakfast, and I flash that appointment slip, the original one. And I was like, hey – me and uh, me and these guys got to go do that tech piece stuff. And he was like, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, whatever, Taylor. <laughs> like, go. Like, after breakfast, just go. Yeah, yeah. I was like, all right. So we get done with breakfast and we form up in th <laughs> three of us. Like, yeah. and they both are like, what are we doing? And <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I was like, we're going to go find out if we made it into tech P. So we march. They're like, yeah, but where are we going? And I was like, all I know is where the MPF is. We'll start there. So we march to the MPF and we sit on this bench and cause, cause we get there at about seven 30, the MPF doesn't open until eight, mm -hmm. eight o'clock. They open, we come in, there's an old woman receptionist in there. She's like, Oh, what are you guys here for? I'm like, Oh, we're here to see Sergeant Hayes from the TACP recruiting uh, office. And she's like, Oh, okay. Just have a seat. So we sit, we sit until like one o'clock. Oh my God. And she is like, Hey, if they still like, she finally like looks out. She's like, and, and again, like my two guys are with me. Like, what the f are we doing? Like, what is <laughs> right. the plan here? Hey, I, yeah, like, yeah. I don't know. We'll figure this out. And so, uh, she's like, well, Hey, let me call him. I was like, oh, yeah, call him. And I'm looking <laughs> at both of them. Like, Hey, we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so I hear her call him and he, and he's like, who? 
She's like, uh, looks like an airman basic Taylor. And he goes, Taylor, oh, hang on. I'll be down there in a minute. <laughs> and so <clears throat> it's probably 15 minutes and he comes blowing through the glass doors. All right. And he's got a stack of papers in his hand and he goes, what the fuck are you doing here? And I stand <laughs> up and go to parade rest and I give him a reporting statement. And he's like, shut the fuck up. I was like, <laughs> Sergeant Hayes, I needed to know if I made it into TACP, like, this is all I want. This is, this is it. And he looks down at these papers and he goes, yeah, Taylor, you did. And he hands me, cause it's a new uh, enlistment contract. Oh, right, that, right. That, that they, that they've now voided the old one. Yeah, yeah. And he goes and he looks at Tyler and, and, uh, and Perry and he's like, but you guys didn't. And then he stops and he goes, but now I don't have to find these guys come over here. <laughs> Let's... Oh. And he prints them new orders for Tacky Tech School. No way. I interrupted two unsuspecting souls entire future of their lives. Yeah. Or yeah, you, <laughs> <laughs> you kind of hooked those guys up by taking them along with you. Well, and then Tyler Woodson retired from the 165th ASOS like two years ago. And uh, yeah, I believe, yeah. I, I think he told me that he told that story at his retirement of like, <laughs> I'm still only here because of that shady mother. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about the other guy? What he end, end up doing? Old Mr. Perry had quite the schoolhouse run. Like he, he got washed back due to a knee injury. So he didn't get to start with our flight. Like, cause okay. he, he hurt his knee playing football in front of the debt back when we just had the grass out front. Right. Right. Uh, and so that like put him on a path of never getting through, you know, and he, oh, he yeah. was a troublemaker too. So he got in trouble a lot. So he was on like permanent, he's one of those permanent CQ guys. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, but Woodson graduated with me. We went to, we went to jump school together. We went to the 14th together. Nice. We did see her like, so him and I stayed together from, from the time, you know, we got this contract to, you know, our first duty station. I love that story, man. That's awesome. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable now. Like to think yeah. about like that I was that brave, like, Oh, just... it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Cause you were gone all day pretty much. Yeah. And the T.I. was oh, yeah. like, well, oh, he didn't give a shit. He thought we were doing a fucking tack piece. Shit. And that's, sure, like, sure. that's, that was the thing. We came back with our contracts all marching proud. And he was like, holy shit. Like the D.I. was actually, <laughs> fucking, he goes, he, he said this to me. He goes, he goes, if you make it through that school, you can come back here and break me off. Hey.